Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. Uh, so, uh, tonight I'm going to answer a couple questions. I'm going to answer these questions because I got each one of them more than once from different people, and they share a component, at least in the answer anyway. Um, one's about Trudeau, the other's about Yang. And, you know, I talked about the Trudeau thing, and I didn't give my opinion on it. I think that surprised people. <laughs> So, uh, all right, let me start off by saying that when I read the headline, I, I was picturing Southern American blackface. If you don't know what that is, good for you. Good for you. Um, blackface is bad, okay? Southern American blackface is evil. It is evil. There's, there's no way to do it without malice. You know, it's not just a lack of understanding. It's not just being a little insensitive. It's evil. It has a long and horrible tradition here in the South. So my opinion of it was very tainted by that. Um, but all of the questions I got involving Trudeau, with the exception of one, included a sub-question. Do I think the apology is enough? I know there were a lot of jokes about the black delegation or the Latino delegation uh, trading to get me. And that's funny. That's good. That's cool. Uh, but I am still white. He didn't dress up like me. I'm not part of the demographic that was depicted. My opinion on his apology is completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You know, if Jimmy insults Susie, you don't ask Billy if the apology was sufficient. Um, I think we should probably focus on the people that were directly impacted. Now, I reached out to every person of color I know north of the border, both of them. I know that's not a huge sample size. But I got two responses. One was that they believe he's a closet racist but his racism doesn't find its way into his legislation. So in a lesser of two evils kind of move, they're willing to overlook it because they think the other guy is just an open racist. So there's that. And then the other person kind of gave me a lecture on, you know, I should know more than anybody that people can change over 20 years. And, and yeah, fair enough. What I would point out is that even within that demographic, there are varying views uh, of his apology and whether or not it was sufficient. I don't know that clouding the discussion with the opinion of a, somebody that is completely irrelevant to the discussion it is a wise thing. I, I think we should probably focus on those that were impacted. Um, the other question was about Yang and whether or not I thought his playing into stereotypes w was acceptable. Um, now let me start by saying I may not have all the information here. I'm not sure what prompted this flood of questions. The only two that I'm aware that he played into is that Asians are good at math and Asians become doctors a lot. That's it. Okay, so if this is about anything else, disregard everything I'm about to say. <laughs> Um, in group jokes, that, that's like 30% of my content. So I obviously don't have a problem with in group jokes in general. However, as far as how the Asian American community feels, or the Asian community in general feels about it, you'd have to talk to them. You'd have to talk to them. Um, you know, there's this idea, especially in the United States, that all opinions matter. And that sounds cool. I don't know that that's true, though. You know, if you're driving down the road and there's a car that's flipped over and you stop to help and you pull the guy out and the surgeon who also stopped said that you need to do a needle decompression on his chest and the investment banker that's walking by says to amputate his leg, what are you doing? 
sometimes it's better to get the opinion of people that are actually involved, that, that know a little bit more. You know, I think that all of, well, I think most opinions should be heard. That doesn't mean they all get the same weight. And in today's world, where everybody has access to social media and can can spread their message, um, I think people feel like they have to have an opinion on everything. You don't. You don't. Not everything requires your personal response. And sometimes your personal response may drown out the opinions of those people that need to be heard more. It's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.